All right, how's it going everyone? AZN Bonka here. Over the past few days, I've been recording as much Crossfire HD footage as possible. If you are unaware of what Crossfire HD is, I've got a playlist on my channel that you can check out. But for those of you who are up to date, let's check out what the second closed beta has to offer. Starting off, the menu interface has been unchanged. It's basically the same layout as the first closed beta. There is, however, a section which showcases a number of new exciting cinematics. Now the first cinematic showcases Operation Frost. It's being developed by both Smilegate Entertainment and Remedy Entertainment. Now Remedy Entertainment has tweeted this on their Twitter. The Chinese trailer for the Crossfire HD story mode is out. The story mode, Operation Frost, consisting of three episodes, has been developed by Remedy Entertainment. The trailer promotes the upcoming release of the Chinese closed beta. Now if you're interested in watching the entire Operation Frost trailer, I will link everything in the description box of this video. Right after that, we have a short cinematic of the iconic SIA character, one of the prominent characters being featured for CFHD. Finally, a new character has been introduced titled MOS Dragon. Now here's the cinematic for that. Moving on, the second closed beta has introduced a number of new weapons. Here's a quick showcase for them. The item shop has also featured a number of weapon skins. Yes, Crossfire HD will have weapon skins similar to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. However, unlike CSGO, there is no exterior wear. There's no factory new, there's no minimal wear, fuel tested, well-worn, or battle scar to select for purchase like in CSGO. There's only one exterior, which is pretty much the equivalent of factory new. I do want to mention that these weapon skins do not have any special perks or provide the player any additional advantages. These are purely a cosmetic item. There's also what I would call endgame animation cards. These are basically animations that all players will see after a match is over if you are the most valuable player. Now here's a quick example of what I mean. Success. Global Risk win. The second close beta also introduced a number of new maps and a new mode. We have two brand new TDM maps, first one's called Hidden Villa, second one's called Dark Castle. A new mode called Destruction Mode introduces the map Western. And we also have some iconic search and destroy maps reintroduced in HD. First one being a fan favorite, Subbase, now called Nuclear Submarine on the official website. And the second map being Compound, which is now called Satellite Base. Now this wraps up the commentary side of the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider supporting my video by giving it a thumbs up and sharing the video around. I would really appreciate it. Tomorrow, I have another very special video, so if you did enjoy today's video, stay tuned for what I have coming up next. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys later.
global risk win. Engage all hostiles. Global risk win. 